Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to review a recent study that was published looking at one of the side effects that occurs with hormone therapy, and that is the impact of hormone therapy on causing death from heart disease. This study was reported in December of 2008 in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, and it was based on a study that was actually conducted between 1987 and 1992. That study involved men receiving radiation therapy and asked whether adding hormone therapy would improve survival from the prostate cancer. And the study actually did show some benefit, but more importantly, it offered an opportunity to see what happens by using hormone therapy over a long period of time. So they analyzed the results with about half the men followed for more than eight years and they found that there was no significant increase in the chance of dying from heart disease during this study period. We do know that these drugs, the drug that was used called goserelin, and there are other drugs like it, we do know that these drugs can cause diabetes and can also cause heart disease. And as a result of that awareness, we're now more cautious when we place men on these drugs to make sure they go through a proper cardiac evaluation. But the question also was, if you're going to benefit in terms of your cancer therapy while then dying from heart disease, well, what's the point? So this study is important because it shows that the chances of dying from heart disease were about 11% in the men who only received radiation versus about 8.5% in the men who received the radiation plus the hormone therapy. The bottom line is, that the hormone therapy did not increase the chances of dying from heart disease during the study period. Now, a number of questions. Number one, that study was done more than 15 years ago. So if we redid the study in today's world with patients that we see today, would that have a different impact? That's number one. Number two, we also like to know is whether or not, if we properly evaluate men today, whether we'll be able to further lower the morbidity. So this is important information because at least gives us some sense that in the period of time that was evaluated, there wasn't a significant increase in the death rate from heart disease, and that may give us a little bit more consolation if men are gonna to have to be on this drug for an extended number of years. Hopefully you'll find this information useful. Thank you.